That's so brilliant. This video is sponsored by Case Filters. my friends very nice to see you i'm super super excited today because yeah i'm back to the dolomites i'm back to dresime and yeah i have some great idea for some amazing photographs the weather is a little bit tricky i have to say but yeah uh, i will try to make the best out of it and yeah i just arrived right now uh, the adventure is planned for tomorrow to be honest so it's unplanned uh, to take a photograph right now but what i've seen is that yeah it was raining or it's still raining at the moment as you can see maybe and i think it will resolve soon and i thought it's maybe a good idea just to walk out a little bit not all too far from the van just a tiny bit to take a yeah a kind of welcome shot or something like that and yeah i would say let's see what's possible here rolling in just for a few minutes it, it rolled through and I came a little bit more over here because what, what I what I know is that here lots of rocks uh, last time when I've been here I saw them already and I thought maybe it's possible to make anything with that I didn't see a composition back then to be honest but now uh, what I really like is this gorge down there and uh, this rock at the starting point of this gorge leading backwards to this mountain and also some rocks up there and this uh, rock at the left hand side the first one um, is at the left hand side and, and, and the, the one down there is at the right hand side and I lead back there. I, I'm in portrait orientation. I really like this image. Uh, it's, it's, I mean it's not a Volker shot or something like that. But yeah, it, it's good. It's a starter photograph here in the Dolomites. I have a circular polarizer on. I tried it with, I tried it without. It's a little bit better. I get the contrast uh, more out. I mean everything is wet now. It rained um, a lot and I get really fantastic contrast out from the mountain. It's so fantastic. And I would say, let's make the click. It was fantastic to have a kind of warm-up shooting here or something like that. That's really amazing here. And I mentioned that already last year in my series of uh, Tresime or, or of Dolomites generally. Wherever you look, you find a composition. It's really amazing. The only problem is really, I mentioned that before, the weather is really quite tricky at the moment. I mean, we have clouds, that's amazing. A little bit of more direct sunlight had been fine. But yeah, I don't want, want to complain. It's, uh, yeah, it was just, it was unplanned. I'm happy and I would say I will go back to my van now and having dinner, sleeping a little bit and uh, yeah, tomorrow I will explore the other side of Brasile. That is already next day and uh, I'll be honest, I didn't sleep all too well. We had lots of rain overnight and it was also extremely cold. I think we had minus degrees. I think in the morning I saw that we had just 10 or 11 degrees or something like that in, in the van. What's not all too much? Oh yeah, it is how it is. And anyway, I, I need to focus on my photography right now. And I would say, let's go to a spot where I thought it's possible to get a fantastic photograph. Yeah, last time when I've been here, I spotted one of these ponds down there and I got attracted by this amazing reflection 
after a seam out there was truly really, really fantastic and uh, to be honest the problem last year with uh, with the pond was there was just one pond because there was a dry period before and i researched a little bit and i found out that there are multiple lakes multiple ponds and i think it's better maybe to go a little bit more in that direction and to yeah to photograph a little bit more towards the mountain so that uh, the image is better balanced Now I picked out already one of these ponds and I like this one here most. I looked around a little bit around the shore and yeah, here are really many possibilities for foregrounds. It's a bit close to the, to the mountain, that's, that's really a problem I have to say. So I think I will have to go quite short with my focal length. Something like, yeah, I, I'm not sure if 60 millimeters or so will work. I didn't uh, build up a composition already, I just thought about, uh, about uh, rough compositions, about my possibilities. And what I liked, uh, what I saw in the first, uh, my first attempt was this little channel in here. So I, I thought to photograph along this channel, I will show you a, a phone shot uh, right now. <laughs> yeah, the light doesn't work the composition doesn't work but yeah this is what I want to show you here's too much going on here's too much in the foreground uh, we have lots of the shore on many many rocks many stones it doesn't really add it doesn't really make sense and so what I, I did then what I found is I got attracted by these rocks down there I mean they don't look after much but I I just thought um, yeah hold it simple maybe I will try to use these rocks here as a leading Liner. So it always depends on which focal length I will use in the, in, the, in, the, in the end because when I will use something like 12 millimeters or so it will get tricky because I, I had to go into the water what I will not do because it's really cold here. Uh, yeah well this would be nice I don't have some. And I mentioned already that uh, the weather is quite tricky at the moment. And by that I don't mean just that we have clear sky what's difficult. Uh, when we have, want to photograph dramatic epic mountains. I think it's also possible to get this dramatic mood into um, yeah, a mountain scene with clear sky. The, the problem is really that we, it's a 50-50 chance that we will have clear sky or that there will come a thunderstorm or so. And the problem is really I don't have internet here, I don't have any signal. So it's, um, yeah, it's a bit tricky. Um, I will work on a rough composition and uh, when, I, when I see that there will come a, a thunderstorm or so, dramatic clouds up there, something like that, I, I will go for that and if not I will wait for sunset, the sun will go up in that direction and I hope it could work. I mean what I've seen yesterday is that there are no clouds back there, this would mean that we have amazing autumn glow up there. And the wind is also a quite difficult thing here. When there's too much wind, like it's, it's at the moment, we will not have all much of a reflection up from the mountains, from the glowing mountains. We don't know. So there are many options. Dramatic uh, mountain without oranges, uh, just with uh, clouds or so. Or, yeah, up and glow. I don't know. I have some hours here now to think about my options and I would say, let's try for that. Oh yeah, I'm already in setup and I really like this composition but I have to be honest with you I'm totally risking with this one and to make it even more dramatic this is my only, my one and only photograph in this video on this day because yeah, um, when you look around we have happy weather and I mentioned that in my last year's uh, video from Dolomites or in my videos from Dolomites that I don't want to have happy photographs. It's, um, it's too, too happy everywhere and I want to have drama. Therefore you need the clouds. And if we would have clouds, it would be possible to walk around this lake, to go to the other side and to photograph um, yeah, towards uh, all these mountain faces there. Everywhere is a composition possible. It is amazing. I walked already around, but yeah, it doesn't really matter to, to go in setup to, to take a photograph here right now. Um, I'm just, I, I'm putting everything on one card. Really, this is my photograph and I also use um, front light. That's something I usually don't do because you don't get contrast, you don't get micro contrast. Everything usually gets flat. But I think, because my, my, first, my first idea generally was to take this photograph at morning, the sunlight would come up uh, from the left hand side, everything would come from the left hand side and we would have fantastic uh, structures everywhere, textures. Uh, really um, amazing, but I, I think the shadows would be in the wrong directions. This is, this is my, my fear, what I have, that 
the, tri the tricema are already amazing. Just the shapes of them, just look at them. So what I thought, it's maybe better to have the sun really uh, behind us and photographing towards them, just to have the front sides illuminated and everything else will be totally, yeah, really uh, simple, uh, simplified. The only thing what I'm not 100% um, sure about is the foreground. I mean, when we, when we have really calm water, no, no wind or so that we get reflections, I, I think it could even work because it, it's quite simple. We don't need all too much of a contrast there. This is something, yeah, I can't try it out right now because the sun is high up with such light. But anyway, I, I think I will go with them. And if it shouldn't work, yeah, I should be fast. Because one thing is, you can really get fantastic, amazing, dramatic photographs at uh, clear sky conditions. The only problem is you can do that just at sunrise or sunset for a short time window. When you have amazing clouds everywhere out there, you can also take photographs during the day. And we don't have that. Oh, well, we waited for some hours and the wind got a little bit down from time to time. Sometimes it's a little bit less wind and it's a little bit more. And so what I did is I find you my composition. That's really important because a quite important thing is the reflection. How much of the mountain will get in? Where will it get in? I went a little bit higher. I placed uh, the, the mountain and, and, and the rocks and the stones down. They're exactly there where it adds. I have this uh, bright, um, rock here down there right at the edge of, of the mountain here a little bit in the center of this of that mountain and so on and i really really like that and uh, yeah the thing is i just have to wait here right uh, now i think for an hour maybe or so i hope in the west will not be any clouds or so at the moment it doesn't look all too bad i have to say and by the way one important thing is also when you use uh, front light when you want to photograph with the sun in your back it's difficult because you get your, your uh, camera uh, as, as a shadow into your frame like it is here. When you look there, um, it's the tripod. Maybe you get also yourself as a shadow into the frame. And to avoid that, what I do is I pick out a place where I have a hill maybe or so, where uh, the hill goes in shadow first. So when the sun goes down, the foreground will be in shadow. So I will not have any shadows going into my, my image. And this is really, really important. It is amazing. The sunlight disappears already behind that rock back there and we have already a tiny bit of orange up there at Racime and the shadow arrives also at the foreground. It looks really really fantastic and I really love this composition. Now we just have to wait a little bit to get the oranges popping out a little bit more and also to, to get the shadow a little bit more back there but I think it doesn't look all the bad and I would say let's wait for these, I'm not sure, a few minutes just. first day of my photography adventure here in Dolomites and my friends if you want to see the next videos I will link the next video here for you and if you like this video give me a thumb up don't forget to join me next week <laughs> thank you so much for watching see you next time bye